Hey, what's up guys? Passe Baller here. We are now on the second game or second prediction for this December 30, 2021 NBA game day. Uh, we would be talking about the game between Cleveland Cavaliers with a record of 20 and 14 and the home team, Washington Wizards, having a record of 17 and 17. This one will be played 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so that's 8 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. And before we proceed, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller, please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. Alright, let's take a look at the Eastern Conference first. Eastern Conference standings first. Um, to check on these two teams, Cleveland Cavaliers, they are actually sitting at number 5. Um, and for their last 10 games, uh, they've won 7. And uh, But approaching this game, they're coming off a loss. That was a very bad loss um, against the New Orleans Pelicans. They blew that lead, but um, more importantly um, would be the fact that um, they lost uh, Rubio on that game and uh, in a season-ending injury. Now for um, Washington Wizards, uh, they are at number 8. And for their last 10 games, uh, they've only won 3 times. And approaching this game, uh, they are actually um, having back-to-back -back losses. All right, Washington Wizards, they actually have the home court advantage on this. Um, as per uh, momentum, I don't think uh, there is any uh, for both teams. Um, looking at uh, the records of the games yesterday, both teams actually had their rest. So fatigue factor uh, shouldn't also much of a, shouldn't be much of a talk as well. Uh, so let's just take a look at the injury list for both teams. Let's start with... Washington Wizards. Um, well, for Washington Wizards, um, they still have a lot of a lot of players here in the list. All right, here we go. Um, oh man, sorry about that. All right, here, uh, Raul Neto, Thomas Bryant, Aaron Holiday, Harrell, Hachimura, um, and then uh, there are actually three. Uh, who are actually listed as questionable for this game. They are Bradley Beal, uh, KCP, and Anthony Gill. Now, um, that's a total of two, four, five players confirmed out, and then three um, listed as probable on this game. So five confirmed out, possibly eight, depending on the situation that Beal, um, KCP, and Gill would have come game time. Now for... Uh, Cleveland Cavaliers, uh, they're also having a long list. And again, just like I was, I was saying earlier, sadly, um, Rub Rubio was added on that list. And if I'm not mistaken, that was a career, uh, the, not really career, sorry about that, but a season-ending injury, man. And that was a knee injury, ACL, man. Um, and mind you, uh, Cleveland Cavaliers already lost a, a Sexton for the season. So, man, they've already lost two guards. Okay, here we go. So uh, here's the list for Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, Sexton, Ed Davis, Osman, Garland, Rubio, um, Allen. Um, there you go. So that's two, four, six confirmed out for this game. And I see uh, Dylan Windler and uh, Lamar Stevens um, being questionable for this game. So... Two, four, six confirmed out for Cleveland Cavaliers. And then Windler and Stevens, um, you know, on a game time decision. So six out, possibly eight, depending on the situation of those two. And I'm looking at the spread. It's minus 1.5 for the home team, Washington Wizards. Oh, no, no. Sorry about that. It's minus 2.5 now. Minus 2. Point, it opened at minus 1.5, but it went up to minus 2.5. For Washington, um, my take on this would be like, um, well, if Rubio was here, this this should be um, an easy you know an easy one for me. I'm gonna go with Cleveland Cavaliers. As Cleveland Cavaliers, not only have they been winning the games outright, if the, if ever they are losing, 90% of the times they're actually covering the spread. But again, but then again, that was when Rubio was still there, mind you. They already lost Sexton 
Garland is also on a COVID uh, protocol shit. So the only point guard that will be left on the uh, you know on the on the lineup would be Okoro, which is not really a point guard. You know, he's he's more of a two or maybe a three. Maybe they would be using Pangos because they don't have much of a choice. Um, and I really feel bad for Cleveland Cavaliers because you know they've been doing well, man. They've been doing well. Um, nobody expected them to be at that spot in the Eastern Conference at that point, but they are. Uh, however, again, they've lost season-ending injuries on their two players, man. Um, Sexton and Rubio. So it's it, and you know you know how basketball is, man. You got to have a point guard. You got to have your floor general out there. I'm um, setting up for your teams. Also, being able to score whenever they have to, you know, taking over whenever they have to. And that's Ricky Rubio right there. Um, we saw what happened there in that game against New Orleans Pelicans, right? They, they were having the lead. Uh, they had the lead, a huge lead that was. But then New Orleans Pelicans actually um, uh, ate that lead up. And actually, uh, Cleveland Cavaliers ended the game with the, you know, with the loss. I guess that shows how huge of an impact Ricky Rubio would be. If ever he would not be suiting up for them, um, I, I like Pan Ghost to be honest. I think he can help uh, Cleveland Cavaliers, but um, it's just totally different, man. If you would have uh, Rubio out there um, as compared to having just Okoro and Pan Ghost. Now for Washington Wizards, they would have uh, you know they would have Dinwiddie, uh, they would have uh, Avdija, um, and also uh, uh, Kuzma. Um, they can score and they will score for this game. And uh, the possibility of having KCP or Bradley Beal is also huge, man. Just an activation of at least one of those two players can, can actually mean an, autom an automatic win for Washington Wizards. So I'm going to go with Washington Wizards this time. And I'm going to take that, uh, I'm gonna take that uh, minus. I think, uh, my, uh, I think Washington Wizards have this. And Cleveland Cavaliers is just actually... Um, Gonna have a you know gonna have a hard time not having a point guard for their system. So my take would be Washington Wizards minus two point five. Wizards minus two point five. Peace out, passe love, and God bless.